Let me create special content for this Facebook group that wasn't normally in in the normal flow of me creating content. It's like asking it's like asking your crush out to the to the prom or to the date, right? <laughs> to it to a, to the dance. It all it's a it's a matter of how you make the offer, how you make the invitation, okay. right? Okay. You show up and you just say, "Hey, I like you. You know, you want to come to the dance with me." You may get a, mm, mm. I don't know. It depends on how much they like you. <laughs> but if you show up, you got a band playing in the background. They got you got music. You got roses. You looking good, smelling good. You went and got candy, and you show up and you make a production out of it. You're more more than likely to get that person to accept your offer. Okay. So what okay. we had to realize is that we had to make a production out of it. And we got this saying now, it's speak your way to catch. Every event is an event. Hey guys, we are back. And I want to talk about growing your business with content and branding your business. So when I came up with this idea, I thought of one person, Chris Kirkwood and his wife, man, they are such a dynamic duo. I mean, not one, but not, I mean, both of them. I mean, they are just like off the chain. So I said, Chris, why don't you come on to the show and let's talk about your experience of growing your business, of you and your wife's business using content. So with that, um, with that said, I want you guys to put your hands together. <coughs> all right. For my little bro, Chris. Kirkwood, come on in, come on in. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? How you what's doing, brother? What's going on, man? I thought about you when I when it came to using content on social media, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, just just creating content to a get business, get new clients. And to expand your business, does it really work to help grow your business? Wow, that's such a great question, uh, Corey. So, so first and foremost, um, my wife is my wife Ashley Kirkwood is um, the the leader and founder of, of Speak Your Way to Cash, and and I I support her at, in operations and sales. So our experience in content, and I, I would say she is a professional speaker. And so we always knew that we had to get her in front of more people, right? So you're here. A lot of people talk about be more visible. We knew that the more people that saw us, saw our message, saw what we were offering, the more people we could possibly get to work with us, take our offer, hear us. And then the more people that we create impact for. So we knew that it was super important. And I'll say that with a caveat, we knew that was important. But, you know, sometimes you don't know what you don't know. So we had to reach out and find somebody to show us, literally walk us through step by step how how we actually get become more visible to this this new age, this online marketing, the Internet world. And that took some steps. It took some time. Uh, but we, we knew the importance of it. We knew that we were out creating videos. I mean, if you go back and look at our content, <laughs> we've been putting out videos, putting out lives, putting out, you know. <laughs> Like Facebook, social media posts, uh, IG lives uh, for for a while now and creating videos. Um, and we've always gotten our speeches recorded. So we knew that it was super important. Um, but I would say what really, really uh, changed it for us is when we when we got we uh, got a consultant to show us exactly how do we optimize our strategy so that we are putting out content in a very in a very strategic way to bring in more cold traffic to get those warm people a little bit more agitated and a little bit more, you know, uh, excited about what we're doing now and then grow those into actual leads and then bring those people into our community and serve them at a high level. Okay. Okay. Now, now here's the thing. You got a lot of people creating content. I mean, they just walking around creating content. Was it a shift being purposeful in creating content to grow the business. See, there's one thing, you know, you're doing lives, you're doing lives, so you're not really being purposeful in creating the content. And now that you're being purposeful (laughs) in creating the content, and what most people don't understand what I mean by purposeful is, is that most of the time you record yourself. You're not even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. 
But when you're create, but when you're creating content for your business to attract someone to click that button, click to say, "Hey, I want to find out more." Um, you have to really. It, it's a mind shift. <laughs> it's a mind shift. So, yeah. what, how did that? How would that change? You know, you got the consultant in. They're like, "Hey." You know what? You got all this old content, which is good. We're going to use that to, to start getting you out there. But now I want you to be strategic in creating new content to grab um, to, to grab eyeballs and to get people to to be more interested in. Absolutely. Can I put a number on it? So just so we're clear, we've been able to grow our personal community like we have, you know, our private Facebook uh, groups, right? Okay. okay. The Speaking Ready Cash uh, group, right? We've been able to grow that group this year 20%. No. By way. being strategic. By being strategic in how we we show up. Because before we were just doing lives, like Ashley was going live. live <laughs> oh, oh I'm saying she was on it. Six o'clock. Bam. She was on it, right? So you were going to see her. But it wasn't until we got put a strategy along with that that consistency to where we say and one and I'm telling you something about about content mm-hmm. you can't be boring you have to you have to have you, be, you have to be <laughs> excitable you have to know what you're talking about you have to add value and you have to understand the current trend the current social media trends yes. so right now yes. we're in the phase of of um of uh, short form videos like reels right it's yes. taking over. At some point, it was like long, you know, it was, you know, it was long form. So you have to be, be a knowledgeable. So we watched videos. We, we reached out to people, got consultants. We read books. We watched videos and we watch our, you know, we get feedback from what it is that we're doing. So when we optimized it, we were able to grow our personal audience. 20%. Wow. Now, now, those now, are people a, that are. Now, yeah. now, here's a question now. Now, for those out there, if you, if you have a business, especially a service-based business, one of the things that we all did, like you said, oh, we created a group, but we weren't strategic in creating that Facebook group. We just created a group and said, hey, won't you come join the group? But when you start being, you, you said when you start being strategic, that, does that mean you start like, hey, you know what? I'm already creating content. Let me create special content for this Facebook group. That wasn't Absolutely. normally in, in the normal flow of me creating content. It's like asking it's like asking your crush out to the to the prom or to the date, right? <laughs> to it to a, to the dance. It all it's a it's a matter of how you make the offer, how you make the invitation, okay. right? Okay. You show up and you just say, Hey, I like you, you know, you want to come to the dance with me, you may get a mm, mm. I don't know, it depends on how much they like you. <laughs> but if you show up you got a band playing in the background. They got you got music. You got roses. You looking good, smelling good. You went and got candy, and you show up and you make a production out of it. You're more more than likely to get that person to accept your offer. Okay. So what okay. we had to realize is that we had to make a production out of it, and we got this saying now: "Speak your way to catch." Every event is an event. You hit it on the head. I tell people it's like branding. When you're branding your business or when you're going out to represent your brand, it's an event. You, you, you have to think of it as if I'm going out, A, to brand myself, to brand my business. And people don't realize you are the business. <laughs> or, yes. look, 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 look at you your are, shirt. You are the business. You are the brand. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, they, you got to show them the shirt. You got you to gotta show them. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Ta-da, speak your way to cat. Oh, look at there. <laughs> see, see, that, see, but think about it. You are the brand. So that's why you have people don't understand how important it is to make it an event. And you're right. You're, you're right. You're right. Even if you showing up to someone else's event, that's still an event. Absolutely. Because you, you're still, you are a representation of the brand. You have to show up for your brand every single time. And we, we really taken that to heart. This, this year, there's been a shift in how we show up. We make every single appearance a production, meaning 
we actually strategize. We thought about it. We 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 organize and figure out who is our target audience. What is our actual messaging? What's our campaign behind this this uh, particular appearance or this okay. particular event? What is our goal? What is our target? What's our break even? And then what is our reach? And because that's another thing is uh, we have a methodology here at Speaking Way to Cash called the paid methodology. And uh -huh. one of the, the major points of that is it's, so paid methodology. It's uh, uh, press, assemble, invite and deliver. So press is your like, how do you get into the press? What kind of press are you getting? Are you getting in front? So this this is press, right? This is a, a, a opportunity for me to come and share with with someone else's audience, right? So this is borrow. But we we had to do a lot of paid traffic this year. Mm -hmm. That's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all you know, when you pay for uh to get your target audience to come right. and you invite them to participate in what whatever event that you're hosting. We were very strategic about who our audience was, how we were inviting them. And then here's the key, Corey, in content. You have to add value. <laughs> it's all about value. It's a, I, I'm glad yeah. you said that. I'm glad you said that because I want to people now. Now he now he just gave you a whole bunch of nuggets for free. Now I want you to know you, he should have charged you, but okay, but <laughs> should be charged you for this. <laughs> but here's the thing, though, you have to add. Now, even when you're motivating people to show up, they have to find some way of value. So here, here's I have a thing: the content changed the bottom line. I'm just gonna get we gonna get right there. The content, you being purposeful and delivering content, affect the bottom line of the business. One hundred percent, yes, emphatically, okay, okay. yes. Now, 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 people realized, I want people to understand, he had to be purposeful. He had to spend some money because most of us don't want to spend no money to understand that we, <laughs> okay. But you had to come off some, you have to come off some, come off some money. But, but in the end, he grew the business. So the investment he put in, he got back and then some. Then some. So, and, and yeah. the reason why I'm sort of kind of being particular about this because most business owners don't understand why it's important to do content. Like, okay, in your business, your business, speak your way to cash. Hmm. Wouldn't it make sense for you, which you guys do already, to do a how to video, how to speak your way to cash? Okay. Now, suppose Absolutely. <laughs> you are a beautician. How to comb your hair? How to? Do, I, I know, I know. It's, I'm being very <laughs> rudimentary here, but I'm just saying, if you are a service-based business, you can create how-to videos about your service that, again, provides value, gets people interested. And like, man, they're giving some good advice on how to do these basic things. Maybe I need to call them to set up an appointment. <laughs> on a high level, explain them why it's is so important to have some type of automation or funneling process to grow your business with this content. Well, so it's not just enough to attract your audience or just attract an audience. You have to, one, attract a broad enough audience to be able to niche down and say, okay, who are the people, who are the people that I've invited that I actually want to stay, that I want to work with, do business with. Um, and then once they get there, you actually have to be able to, uh, you have to have an offer, right? And that offer has to be readily available for them to take advantage of. So that's a part of your funnel, right? You have to make sure that you have your automations correct. So when people come, to purchase or they come to offer, they come to your event and they click on the button, what's happening next? You want to make sure they have a place to go that you're leading and you're guiding them through whatever it is your internal process is so that it's a seamless transition from cold to warm to hot to there in your community forever. Because the goal is to get them into your community and so that you continue to serve them on a consistent basis, on an excellent basis so that they stay 
because we you have to understand that when you attract someone it costs you to to attract them but when they the longer they stay the greater that customer value is because they they the longer they stay they're spending more money with you they're spending more time with you then they become fans they become fanatic and then they become they become evangelists for your company for your movement for your services and they start going telling other people and they then start the process over for you right so now we're getting to the point where it's we want to get from paid to organic we want people to naturally look and say okay uh how do i learn how to get a, a large speaking contract we want them to look to us and we want to be the go-to we want to become a household name so that when someone asks someone out in public hey i saw you got that contract who did you go to oh speak your way to cash there how do i go. get to Speak your way to cash.com. How do I how do I go get the book? Speak your way to cash.com <laughs> slash book. How do I learn how to pitch? Pitch your way to cash.com. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. See, but see, but and, and I want people to understand that if you notice, the ideal is to keep organic. And I recently did an episode on the word of mouth effect. Oh my God. That's huge. People aren't saying about the word of mouth effect when you're growing organically. That somebody is more likely to say, oh, you know what? Um, oh, someone's doing speaking. Yeah, I, I do speaking, but you should go to speak your way to cash because guess what? They have this whole process. They, if you don't know, they're train you. If you need to know how to do a cold call, they'll teach you. If you need to do all these processes regarding uh, how to speak, that's what you're building this content around. It's all about getting that customer Absolutely. or that client to come back naturally every day. Oh, ah, but you don't have to do anything. They see you. Oh, that's speak your way to cash right there. I don't, you know, they, you know. <laughs> and, and can, I, can I add this? It could yes. be the difference uh, for those for those of us who are running traffic. Um, it could be the difference of a two dollar cost per lead and a fifty dollar cost per lead. That's how important. Or so, and then when you get to like purely organic, and you're creating impact, and you're collecting those those emails, you're collecting that list, you're building your oh, internal see. list. See, you went there, you went there. You that went there. then that brings your overall marketing costs down. The more the more people are coming to you and looking for you, the more people are showing up to your events without having to go through that funnel, mm -hmm. the lower your costs are without having to go through the paid traffic, right? That yes. that's when you're showing up and you're offering and you're delivering on what you said you were going to deliver on, and then you're going beyond that. Wow. Wow. I'm telling see, see, and people don't understand that. Now, again, guys, there is a cost to create this content. Now you can do it for free. You just pick up your phone and you boom and there you go. I mean, you know, you create it. But you do need to edit it. Pay someone to edit it, okay? <laughs> All right, if you don't know how to edit Absolutely. Pay someone. Okay. Go five fi fi find somebody, thirty, forty dollars edit the content. But if you notice the things that Chris was saying, what most small business understand is that how much did it cost me to get you as a client? So if you spent $30 and an hour of your time creating a video, that's $30. Now I got to put the video out there. Okay. That's five, 10 minutes. But now you call me and I got to spend two hours of my time trying to get you to buy the product or service. Most people don't equate their time with money, but you need to equate that somehow. <laughs> okay. Even if you say your time is $50 an hour. So now we had $130. You signed a deal for $200. I only made 70 bucks. Is that enough? Is the question is that enough? Now, the reason why I went through it for, for people like that, because Chris, Chris know where I'm going. 
most we need to understand how much it costs us to acquire a customer, how much it costs us to deliver us the service for the customer, and what is our profit, how much we charge them, and what's left. Most people make the mistake saying, ooh, I just made $1,000, but it took you $1,000 to acquire the customer, deliver the services for the customer, uh, manage the customer. (laughs) So you really didn't make any money at all, at all. But talk about free events. How does doing free event like workshops from a content perspective Generate leads. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, here at Speak Your Way to Cash, we have a um, we have a suite of services <laughs> that we provide. We also we also uh, provide um, uh, content or added value course uh, education through uh, the container of challenges. Right. So one of our staples here is Pitch Your Way to Cash. Right. Uh, Pitch Your Way to Cash. Or we also do some two day summits. Um, we just had the Black Woman Sales Summit back in September. Um, we also do uh, some live webinars where we where we have a thing and we we teach to that thing. Um, in all of those instances, we have offered uh, we've offered and invited people to come and join those things um, at a no cost uh, barrier, right? So uh, sometimes we'll have a free challenge. We now we have levels, right? We have it's free, but you get access to the free Facebook group, but you don't get access to the private Zoom. Right. If you want to get access to the higher level, to the uh, you get more services, more content. You know, you may get some downloadables, right? Swipe copy or whatever. You have to pay to upgrade. But be, by us doing and offering those free challenges, those free opportunities, we've been able to to broaden our audience base and so who we can target. And through that, we've been able to get more cold cold traffic to actually go from cold to actually warm to hot okay. in the okay. matter of of a of a of a, a three day or five day challenge because we over delivered. But the free just the free allows us to show more people to get more people to actually um to register. Now we know that everybody that register <laughs> may get two thousand people to register, only you know three, four hundred may actually show up. Yeah. So we know that once we get them free, we have to offer them an invite to actually uh, pay, you know, to work with us. Even even if it's like a, a $20 offer, $30 offer, paid people continue to, to be paid people. So um, that, that free just offers us to broaden our, our audience base. Okay. Okay. Now, would you recommend doing uh, a free event once a month, quarterly? I mean, just something to, as a, as a, as a branding, um, vehicle to get your business out there. You know, you're, you're new, you have the service, uh, you want people to know. It depends. It it really, it really does depend. Um, because although we have free, there's always a VIP, there's always a higher level attached to that. And we invite people, everybody to, you know, to work with us, um, at those higher levels. So you have to have a strategy Mm -hmm. to make sure that people just know, and they don't associate you with free or they don't associate (laughs) your brand with with free because you can look at our branding you can look at our marketing you can look at our advertisement and say oh it's going to cost me something to work with them yes and you don't want people to just uh, assume that just because they attended this thing for free (laughs) or this event for free that it's going to continue to be free it's going to be free now you can come and look (laughs) but you can't get inside (laughs) <laughs> wow you can go to you can go to Nemes you can go to Nemes and walk around but you ain't you ain't leaving with no you, no you fur ain't getting inside. You, <laughs> you are not getting inside wow wow now you know what I want you because we got you here I want you to tell people about the upcoming event let people know about this upcoming event that that that, that that's getting ready to happen Listen, we are so excited to host our seventh, that's seventh Speak Your Way to Cash live event. It's a three-day hybrid live extravaganza, right? Uh, we're going to be uh, 
teaching, coaching. Uh, we're going to uh, be just showing and adding value, showing pe- showing our audience. So it is a paid event. This is not a free event. So this is a paid <laughs> event. Everybody, everybody that's attending has <laughs> invested with us to be in the room to get that added value. Okay, um, but but it is a, a three day a three day experience um, for coaches, entrepreneurs, authors, people that want to utilize the container of speaking, workshops, webinars, um, what have you, private sessions with corporate to land large five, six, and seven figure contracts with uh, with uh, government entities, with corporations, with colleges, what have you. So um, that is, that's what we're hosting, man. And so we're going to be live here in the Chicagoland area. Uh, you're coming out. You're going to be with us. Yep. We got people coming from all literally all over the world this time. Right. Oh, wow. We have people coming. We have people coming from Canada, from the UK. We got people coming. We have people come oh, from, from uh, oh, Brazil okay, okay, one okay. year. You guys went international now. Colombia. We so and, and that's due, due to our content. Right. We've been we've been on the ground running and inviting people in a very, a very thematic and special way to come and spend some time with us. So we got our audience is coming from near and far. We have people flying in, driving in. We got people running in. We got people coming. <laughs> wow. And they're ready because, because we've, we've showed up for them all year long. And now they're super excited to see just how, how much more of an impact they can get, not just from us, but from the community that we've been able to build through our content, through showing up, through delivering on over delivering on the promises that we've made, over delivering on on the services that we we've offered. So uh, it's going to be off the chain, off the chain. Wow! Wow! Hey, hey guys! Hey, I can't. You know, he he summed it up. So again, content growing, growing your business with content. It's important. <laughs> it's important. It's yeah. important. And Chris, man, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. Uh, can't wait to go to the conference because, uh, okay, y'all, y'all don't understand. I did with local. Now they, they were national. Now they're international. Next thing you know, I mean, you know, they, they, they just growing. <laughs> and so, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they just growing. But I mean, oh, but th- can I add this go before, for it, go before for we, it. before we cut it? I want to say, um, so, we sold out of in person, right? In person is sold out. However, you still can go to speakyourwaytocashlive.com to get your virtual ticket. We do virtual like none other. If you've been to any one of our of our challenges, webinars, or some uh, summits this year, you know just how turned up we get, just how much added value we provide. So uh, go to speakyourwaytocashlive.com and get your virtual ticket to speak your way to speak your way to cash live 2022. See now, look at that. See the virtual. I'm telling you, I don't know what's next. I mean, you know, metaverse. That's it. That, that's what's next. <laughs> yeah. That's what but no, thank you for coming out. Hey guys, we will have Chris to come back because again, he has tons of information. Um, and definitely, we're gonna try to get his wife on too. Why do we have him do a tag team? You know, do a tag team thing <laughs> um, because he actually yeah. has some information about. How important it is to take time to brand yourself. I'm telling you, that's a whole nother show right there. That's a whole nother one um, that I, I want to come back with Chris. But again, hey, thank you guys. And until next time, peace. <laughs>